Hi guys, this is Pestilli and welcome to another Escape for Tarkov video. In this video, I just want to touch on the 30% uh, the increase in recoil control. Um, I, I made a big point about this during my stream today where I just showed off uh, how the difference is going to make. Uh, I, I won't really go into much more detail than that. I want to try and keep this short video as short as possible just to give you guys an understanding that even with 30% increase, it's not going to make that big a difference. There actually needs to be a whole change to the mechanic. Um, I don't know the solution. I'm just pointing out that there is issues with it. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. This is a fairly stock AK. There's a rubber butt pad and a suppressor on it. Um, the recoil reduction is one. I think the stock the stock muzzle is actually negative one as well. And um, the rubber butt pad is only 5%. So it, it's a fairly stock. The, there's no other modification on this to actually change the accuracy. Whereas this is also, um, this has uh, a fair bit of changes on it. This one's negative 11%. We've got the rubber bat pad, we've got the foregrip, and also the uh, the B10M, which uh, reduces the recoil a little bit. So, um, what I want to show here is, this is a, this is exactly 30% difference. If you actually look at the difference between them, I'll bring up the calculator. Yeah. Right, so if you go 160 times 0.7, because it's going to be 30% change, that's that's the 30% difference in recall, um, it will be uh, 112. So if you go 112, right, times 1.3, because it's going to be 30% more recoil. Actually, maybe I fucked it. I don't know. Anyway, there's 30% less reduction. This will go, this is a test to show the difference between a lot of fucking, uh, the, the recall differences. It's probably, it's probably going to be sitting more like 145, but it's a good way to show the differences of a high recall versus low recall. Anyway, moving on. Quick math. It was quick math I did on top of my head. So, this is the stock standard AK. Um, pretty much stock standard. If I just do this from the hip at this wall, I'm just going to show you so you can see my mouse. All right, don't mind the chin strap as well. All right, so this is me just full order at the wall. For 60 round mag. Right, as you can see, after the first few kicks where it was aimed around here, it put it all in the same spray pattern, right? So if I was to show you that again, but this time I'm going to control it myself. Yeah. So first two bullets will kick and then it will go straight back to here. Right, and this is the shitty AK, right? This is the shitty one. So this is where that's that's your spray pattern at full auto standing, right? And this is that. So worst case scenario, this is what the spray pattern's going to be like with this this gun. And if you come back here, and I'll show you right now standing. So oh no, I'll, I'll aim for that bit there. You'll see the kick. So um, actually I won't do hip fire. I'll do ADS. I'll do ADS from here. It's a laser beam. It's a fucking laser beam, right? Like, look at that spray pattern. That's with the, the current recall. So, you're probably going to get a, a bit more of a pattern like that post. But, like, this is me controlling it. Another one doing it for the kids. Nice. Cheers, Milner. All right, and this is the uh, spray pattern of me uh, controlling it. So, as you can see... Like, and this isn't the best uh, AK mods you can do. There is a uh, slightly better recall you can get from uh, changing the stock and also the uh, foregrip. So as you can see, for a full auto, there's fucking. It doesn't even matter. You can make it. You can make it extra fifty percent. It's not going to make that big a difference. Like it is a difference, but trust me, it's it's fuck all. And then if you were to go say even further away, right? Um, and go prone, and this is the shitty AK, right? Go prone. Fuck it. You know what I'll do? I'll do. I'll show you this. I'll show you this. Uh, let's go. This AK will take off the stock. Get rid of that. Um, you know. So now there's, and I'll fold the stock. Fold. All right. So now the recoil is like 280. Right. Now, 
I've shot a lot of guns in my time. Re in real life, like I've shot in Minimize, Maximize, uh, F-88 Styres, fucking... I've shot M4s. I haven't shot M4 at full auto, but uh, I've shot 50 kills at full auto. You can't do a spray pattern like that. And, and, and like, guys, this is the recoil set at 280 with 95. So you could make it plus 100% recoil. It's not going to make that big a difference when you're prone and, like, like standing. Like, do you get my point, guys? So, and the reason for it, the reason for it is the fact that there is an inbuilt mechanic that helps assist with the aim, right? Um, the the probably where it's going to make the biggest difference uh, that I can, I believe. Uh, I do have max level recall skill at the moment, right, guys? So it's going to be worse than that. But trust me, that's thirty percent. So if you, if I did this on a level one guy, like if if I could do this the testing again on a level one guy, and then that'd be the thirty percent. So I wouldn't have to do the adjustment. I could do the same guns, thirty percent. So. We'll move over to, like, an SKS. Now, this is an OP SKS stock standard. So, this is where it's going to really uh, have a bigger effect. I just want to get a point. Uh, with the semi-auto, I think it's going to have more of a kick. So, you go... And then this is with... Uh, I did the math, the quick math, to get the, the recall. 171, 246. Alright, so now this is a lesser recall. Right, so obviously there was less kick, but the point I'm trying to make, with the 30% increase in the recoil, whilst it will make a bit of a difference, it's not going to be much. Um, I think that's your whole... Uh, I, I don't know myself personally how to fix it, um, but there is an inbuilt recoil mechanic, and to me, I feel like it needs to either be turned off, so we have to control our, our own recoil, so say the shot goes bang bang, and we actually keep pulling it down, and... And, and get rid of that automatic recall adjustment because it's really just a laser beam. Um, it, it it's seriously just a laser beam at the moment. Doesn't matter if it's if it's pimped out with uh with if it's if it's pimped out with uh what do you call it mods or not. Like, there's no requirement to adjust the recall really. Like that's a hip fire. I think I'm out of mags. Oh, I got one more here. Right, ADS without without AD, uh, without having any control over the the recoil. It's got an inbuilt recoil, and I know um uh, in, inbuilt build uh, recoil control, and I know uh, Spades Co made a, a big point about this, and I think this is why it's probably he's driven been driven away from the game because he's he's you guys want a realistic shooter, and he definitely does. He's big on uh, the whole realism side of things. And that's why it affects people. So I'm going to leave it at that. So guys, thanks for watching another video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for future content. I stream on Twitch six uh, days a week. But at the moment, I'm streaming every day. Um, the wipe should be out within the next 24 hours. I will be streaming probably about 40 hours straight once it hits. So uh, we're we'll going over everything I could possibly do. Uh, leveling all the traders. Everything. So there'll be plenty of YouTube video com uh, videos coming out over the next uh, few days. So be sure to get excited about that. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, feel free to hit me up on my live stream or down in the comments below. And lastly, I'll see you next time. Re 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 recoil. Yeah.